hello creatives you're welcome to my youtube channel again this is david gladness and on this particular video i'm going to be addressing to some requests i got in my youtube community so i've been getting this type of request from a very good number of people that how can they do this type of thing right how can they make how can they create this type of effects for their own flyer you can see that so i've been getting the request from a very good number of people this were just the ones i was able to gather so on this particular video tutorial i'm going to be showing you on how you as well can create something like this making use of the pixel app software on your device okay so without further ado let's proceed with the video tutorial all right guys so the first thing i'm gonna do here is to import um our reference designs right i am going to be importing our reference design so i will just search for it okay so i think this is one of them this is one of them as you can see so i'll just crop it out to something like this this is so that you're going to see what we are trying to achieve right so i'll go to my relative position to make it bigger relative size rather so yeah so as you can see right here we have our reference design right here and it's still the same way let me show you right let me show you from here it's still the same way you're going to achieve this the same pattern the same pattern by the time you watch this video to the end you must have understand how to go about something like this right so it's still the same pattern by which you're going to achieve something like this you are as well going to achieve something like this right and it's still the same pattern by which you're going to achieve something like this you're going to achieve something like this as well all of them are the same pattern so nothing is actually different it's still the same pattern so it's just the positioning of your shape and all right so first of all let me go back to my pixel lab app and then i have my image resources downloaded already as you can see so i had to like search for the resources that was used for this particular one and i, I was able to get it online and as you can see it's right here now i am going to increase the size by making use of my relative size now the next thing i'm going to do is to position it wherever i want to position it now the first thing you want to do let me import okay instead of importing let me go back to the reference design now if you should notice the reference design right here you can see that this one the this part is having like a blue color the inside of this particular shape right this is giving like a, a max vibe trick right so this is having a kind of um white white shape so if you have watched a tutorial i dropped on canva on how you can max out your image out of a tgif text or if you have not watched it there is a video popping up right now on the top right corner click on it it's going to take you to the tutorial and you are going to get a similar tutorial on how you can actually create this type of effect making use of the canva app if you are a canva user right but then this is pixel lab tutorial now if you have watched that particular video you're going to be able to understand clearly what i'm trying to explain in this aspect now you will realize that this place is having a kind of blue color for you to be able to have this type of color right for you to be able to have this type of color you need to like um add a background to your image first and save it to your gallery right you need to have a background in your image then save it to your gallery the same thing applicable to this you can see this particular background you're seeing right here is because of the initial background that is on this particular image itself the same thing applicable to this particular one right here right you can see the, this kind of war effect that is there is because of the type of background that is already on the image before this effect was being created so make sure you are having that background it's very very important so i'll go back to my pixel app now the first thing i want to do is to lock this particular image so that my hand is not going to be moving it right make sure it is locked so that you will not mistakenly move it now I'll go to color now it could be maybe you downloaded a background it could be a building background it could be any type of background so i am going to select a red background in my own case as you can see now the next thing i'm going to do is to save this particular image right i am going to save it up so i'm going to click on save as image and i'm going to be saving it in an ultra dimension okay all right that's having done i'm going to change my background back to a white color it could be any color right but make sure the background you save your image with is the one that is going to be appearing inside that particular shape right inside that particular shape just like this particular one right just like this particular one you make sure um the color that is going to be appearing inside here is what you're saving the image with now the next thing we're going to do is to give our shape the type of pattern we want to give it now on the a reference design the person brought in a shape right so let's just give this shape another color any type of color right so i'm going to increase the radius you can see that to give it a curve edges 
then i'll increase it to something like this you can see that it could be any color the shape could be any color we are not really working with the color right here so i'll just adjust it to something like this then tap on the mark icon then i will rotate it to be something like this then position it around here like this right now i'm going to duplicate it copy it so you can activate your grid line so that your shapes will be positioned properly at the middle you can see that or just make it of your relative position now you can choose to make this closer to each other or you just give it a little bit of space it all depends on your taste remember i told you that the same way you are going to achieve this is the same way you are as well going to achieve the rest of those design so i'm just going to position this one right here it's also going to be at the middle yeah as you can see now the next thing we're going to do you can actually make it as close as possible but then i want this to be obvious and that is why i am not making it close so i am going to hide the initial image now we are having just the shape now we are going to be saving these shapes in a transparent background by clicking on this particular place you're seeing transparent then i'm going to click on save as image and then i'll click on save to gallery now this having save the next thing we're going to do is to we can now delete this particular shape we cannot choose to delete it and make this particular one visible remember still make sure this one remains locked so that your hand is not going to move it because we want it to remain on the position it was before saving it with a background now the next thing we're going to do is to import that particular shape we just saved those shape we just saved in a transparent background which is this now do not tamper with your shape by increasing the size with this particular button make sure you go to relative size and click on this to increase the size to 100 100 right then after increasing the size make sure it is on the middle this is because we want it to remain on the same position it was before we saved it now the next thing we are going to do is to go to our texture by clicking on texture then after clicking on texture select this part you are seeing right here then you are going to select that particular image we saved earlier with a background which is this one so as you can see then tap on this mark icon you can see that we are now having the type of effect we are now getting to the point where we, we are trying to we are now getting to achieve what we want to achieve now the next thing we are going to do is to lock the particular shape now you can choose to use your eraser tool we are actually done with the effect we have been able to create it it's just for it to be obvious now you can tap on this particular image the image at the back you can see that this is what the texture is you can see what we are getting from the texture but then we want to erase the down part of this particular image now you can choose to make use of your eraser like this by increasing the size then you erase the down part because the only thing we need from this image now is the top part so you can choose to erase the down part which is pretty simple then you tap on mark let's see what we've got you can see that we have been able to achieve that right we have been able to achieve that but then we want to get rid of this particular sharp line you can see this sharp line on the lady's face we want to get rid of it now what we are going to do is to make sure this particular image is on in top of, like on top of the original shape you can see that and now we have been able to get rid of that particular line we have been able to get rid of that particular line and we have been able to create the effect which we want but then what if you do not want to use the um you, you do not want to use the eraser so let me click on undo to bring back the rest of the body you can choose to use the max tool just make sure you are tapping on the image then go to your max just go to max then when you are on your max you can click on this enable then you erase the part you want to erase you can see that just make sure it covers the, the part you want to erase then tap on mark and now you can now make this on top of each other so you can see what we've got now i didn't mean it was a little bit closer to each other you can choose to make this a little bit obvious so that it will be looking like um the image is actually like teleporting from one shape to the other so what we'll do is to click on stroke enable our stroke and then we'll be using a color that is going to be obvious so you can choose to do this you can see we have been able to like add a stroke to our image and now we have been able to get this particular effect now you can go ahead to match them together if you wish you can decide to merge them together so that you'll be able to position it wherever you want to position it you can see that so now you'll be able to position it wherever you want to position it so thank you for sticking around to the end of this video tutorial do not forget to give a comment if the video was helpful and do well to subscribe if you are yet to hit the subscribe button do not forget that if you want to create this same type of effect like the ones i sent to you earlier it's still the same way you're going to create this particular one you're going to create or achieve this particular one as well it's just the way you use your shape the first thing save, save your image with a background the second method make sure you are saving the shape after positioning the shape with the pattern you want to position it then the third method Method, import the shape add a texture which is the image you saved earlier and you are going to achieve something close to this one or something as as long as you can actually be creative so thank you for sticking around to the end of the video tutorial see you on the next one